I want to tell you the keys to having a good life. As of 7 a.m. this morning, this is subject to change, as always. I changed my mind with new information. I think the key to a good life is very similar to the key to a good game of Sonic the Hedgehog, specifically on the GameCube, because that's the only place I've played it. And the key to having fun with that is to not take it too seriously. That's it, it's pretty simple. From what I remember, the objective when playing Sonic is to just kind of walk around, collecting coins, fight a baddie, and then fighting Dr. Eggman. You can play it the safe way and just walk around, pick up your coins, and then go and fight Dr. Eggman. Or you can have fun, bounce off the walls, go up those speed ramp thingies and try to make like really ridiculous jumps. And then sometimes you miss and like you fall and all the coins fall out or like sometimes you just die. And then you go and fight Dr. Eggman. The destination is the same. You still go and fight Dr. Eggman. But how much fun did you have along the way? I'm starting to realize that the journey is actually the most important part. That is the part where you have the most opportunity to grow, to learn, to experience, to enjoy. The journey is pretty much everything. So if you're not having fun on the journey, then boo. Let's say you die at the destination, okay? The journey is where you live and then you get to the destination and you die. Now, wouldn't it make more sense to have a lot of fun along the journey? This is why I no longer believe in a delayed gratification aka saving because what if i died tomorrow i've started enjoying my days for what they are and it's been amazing i've spent a lot of money but i've actually made a lot of money too it's quite weird but that's besides the point it's not it's not about money i don't even like money money is such a whore we're not going to talk about her today <laughs> the point isn't money and the focus isn't money the point is not hanging so tightly into these material things because in the game of sonic if you hang on so tightly to all these coins that you've gathered you don't really have fun you don't jump off the buildings you don't you don't really fight like the little enemies in between because you're scared of like getting hit and then all the coins flying out of you. You don't live to the fullest. The journey to Dr. Eggman, this is the point of the game because once you get to Dr. Eggman and you fight him, the game is finished. If you don't have fun on the way to him, then when do you have fun? Because you fight him and then you die. I've decided that I'm no longer delaying my fun and enjoyment until I see Dr. Eggman. I'm gonna have fun along the way. That looks like different things for lots of different people. I don't know <laughs> what your idea of fun is. As long as you are having fun and you know that you're having fun and you feel it, like deeply, truly feel it. Don't tell yourself that you're having fun when you're not having fun. There's no point lying to yourself. It's only yourself. Like literally, you having fun impacts nobody else. Like if you are having fun or if you aren't having fun, that doesn't change my ability to have fun. So you might as well truly have the fun. Jeez, did you follow? I feel like I'm <laughs> saying a lot of words. Stop saving. If you want to be responsible, if you have to be responsible, switch over to investing because that's like the the, the, the more fun version of saving because there's a, that's what I've been trying to say, risk. <laughs> okay, the key to having a good life is taking risks. It's so delicious. Oh my God, guys. There is literally nothing. <laughs> I know you know what I mean. On its most minuscule level, I know everyone has had that experience of just sending that risky text. You hit send and then it's gone. Just before it says delivered. Because as soon as it says delivered, the instant regret starts to, to creep up. We're going to get rid of that soon. We'll talk about it another time. Another time. <laughs> but before you get hit with that instant regret, like just... A mini second. Why not live your life experiencing that rush every single day? People say you can't, but they're lying. I think you can, and I think you should. I don't think living a fun, enjoyable life that you desire has to conflict with anything that you hold dear to yourself. I don't think it needs to conflict with your morals, with um, your goals. I think you can have it all. I truly, truly, truly do. If you really want it all and you go for it all, I think you can have it. I think you can have everything that you go for. Honestly, I was going to say within reason, but no, if you're willing to take the risk and put all of your eggs into that basket, bro, it's rough. <laughs> I think, I think you can get it. And if you don't get it, I pray and I believe, I think that you'll get an even better version of it because it'll be the version that you have. The version that you have is better than the version that you can think of. The keys to a good life are taking risks, investments. Not necessarily for money. If you like me, don't like money too tough. We need it. Let's not be dumb. But if you if you don't want to live a life that chases money, invest in yourself. Invest in the people around you. Invest in the things that you love, the things that you hold dear to you. That doesn't always have to be money. It could be time. It could be effort. It could be creativity. It could be art. It can draw pictures for people. My nephew... Let me show you. I'm going to go and get it. One sec. It's downstairs. He drew a card. 
scrap every other thing that I've said. This is the true key to a good life. Look at how gorgeous this is. I love this boy. He spelt Jesus as Jesus. Oh my god, it was my card! <laughs> I thought it was my mum's card, but it's actually my card. Auntie with an R. Lamade. He tried. <laughs> the best card I've ever received in my life. This is an investment. He invested his time into giving me something. So, investments. Key to a good life. And a good life for others as well. When you invest in other people, then they also have a gooder, better life. The other key is just remembering that nothing is out of your reach. Therefore, you should go for everything that you want. And I know people say, realistically, yeah, there is something. No, there's nothing, there's nothing. If you go for it, if you take that risk, and if you really work towards it, if you invest in yourself and in that thing that you want, I mean, <laughs> potentially, there is a chance that you may not get it. You will get it or something better because it's the thing that you have. The thing that you have is always better than the thing that you like think of or the thing that you think you want. The thing that you actually have is a lot greater. I don't know if I hit my speaking points because number one, I didn't have any speaking points. And number two, I got distracted by this masterpiece. Can we just sit here and like just look? How adorable, he put all the things that I love. He put God in Jesus, a computer because you know, obviously I like computers. <laughs> I'm gonna hang it on my wall. It was art. This is art. The key to a good life is art. When I say invest in art, don't buy art. Make art, create art, and give art. This is art that he gave me. Now my life is so much better. I'm very happy. I love, oh my god, children are so pure and so perfect and I love them. He has so much confidence in his spelling of Jesus that he did it twice. Bro, oh, I, I love, he even spelled my name wrong, but he made it so poetic. From now on, call me Lamedy. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go live a good life with my art and I hope your life is better now that I've shared my art. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's just like, kids are so pure and they deserve the world. Forget Sonic. The true key to a good life lies in kids. Kids have cracked it. They live the most ultimate good lives. And what do they do? They take risks. They don't have inhibitions. They don't doubt themselves. They don't allow insecurities to hold them back. They just go for it. Kids invest in the things that they love. They will sit there for hours doing things that they love. If they love to draw, they will sit there for hours drawing. If they love to run around, they'll run around for hours. They invest in the people that they love. They create things that we love, that they love. They just create, they just make things. Thank you, Timmy, I love you, Timmy. Those are the keys to a good life. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go live a good life. <laughs> Bye. Just a mini second, just a mini second, just a mini second. Why not live your life?